Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. We're going to be talking about Supergirl, The Flash, and all the other DC TV shows. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got two pieces of information to talk about today. We've got two different articles. The first article comes from dctv.news. So that is to do with Supergirl. We're going to be talking about that first, then we'll move on to the article regarding Vancouver and when The Flash, Batwoman and all the other DC TV shows can potentially start filming again. So yeah, on DCTV.news, they put up an article saying that Supergirl's fifth season is the next casualty of the virus. So what happened is obviously they had to cut production, they had to stop filming and they were midway through, I think, the finale, that's what I've been told. They had like four or five days left on production, and basically that's been slashed, and we are not sure when they're going to be able to get back to Vancouver, and apparently, as a casualty of, you know, what's going on in the world out there, this isn't good for Supergirl, because they're going to be mixing episode 19 to 20 now so they're going to be mixing the penultimate episode and the finale episode so it's looking like this is going to be happening because obviously they don't have enough footage to complete the finale episode without it being like i guess like half an hour long or something like that because you know five days you can do a lot of shooting they probably had a lot of stuff planned maybe it was some of the important bits but it seems like they can go ahead with a finale whether it's episode 19 or 20 you know, they have enough to complete and wrap up the season so they don't have to go back and film. But it's a shame because it was supposed to be 22 episodes, then they cut it down to 20 episodes. And I'm pretty sure that was because of Melissa and what is going on with her right now. And due to her maternity leave, they needed to start filming the next season a lot sooner so that they could keep up to schedule and get Supergirl's next season out by normal time in October, which doesn't seem like it's going to happen anymore. We've talked about that lots recently. You can go check out like any video, to be honest. And so, yeah, now it's 19, not even 20, so, you know, the season is very much so just shrinking down and down. And Supergirl doesn't return until May 3rd, so they've been delayed lots of times. It was supposed to be April 26th, it was supposed to be something else before, I think it was like April 14th. And so nothing is going Supergirl's way, so they've decided to merge episode 19 and 20 to make one big finale. I reckon it's still going to be normal runtime. I don't think it's going to be like an extended runtime. They'll just sort of get what they want, get the important stuff, and just cram it into one episode. So the producers of the show, and I'm reading from the article here, the producers of the show have taken the footage they gathered for the finale and have been able to mash it together with other existing footage to make a compelling finale episode. So, what do you guys think about this? Are you excited that this is probably going to be a jam-packed finale? Are you annoyed that, you know, we can't see any more episodes? Because the next episode we've got is episode 17, then we got 18, and then we got 19. So there's literally only three episodes left of the season as of right now, which is kind of mad because it doesn't feel like they've even got to the point where they're heading towards the finale yet. And there's only three episodes left, so... I think the question we have to ask is, is this going to feel rushed? Because they definitely had, you know, lots planned for these at least final four episodes. Originally, it would have been six more episodes as of episode 17. So there was probably a whole arc planned out where, you know, you would have seen whoever becomes the main villain, which is Leviathan as of right now, come to their sort of end via Supergirl or Lex or however they're going to defeat Leviathan. But they've not come out as a proper threat yet. They're still in the background. So what is going on? I don't know how they're going to resolve it. But maybe in these three episodes they're going to be able to do it. But anyway, so let's move on to the next bit of this video. So this comes from CTV News in British Columbia, which is where Vancouver is. And so this is an article and this is how it reads. I've taken some chunks out because it regards the return of our shows. So at a news conference... Thursday in Vancouver, the premier said that US film producers are paying close attention to how British Columbia, which is BC, is handling the COVID-19 crisis with an eye to potentially returning to regular production in British Columbia faster than elsewhere. They've seen that the curve is starting to bend in the right direction, they've seen the programs that we're putting in place, and they see an opportunity to return to British Columbia perhaps faster than they're willing to do in other parts of North America. 
Like most industries in the province and around the world, British Columbia's film industry has been hit hard by work stoppages. Regional film commissions on Vancouver Island say that they're ready to ramp up productions when the rebound comes. We continue to field calls from productions who are looking for locations and resources in preparation for future dates. We are working with productions who were scheduled to film but are now on hold, helping them with logistics so they can get back working as soon as possible. And so, yeah, that is sort of the big chunk of the article that you should focus on. That will be in the description below, so you can go read it for yourself because I only read part of it out. But essentially what you should get from this is it seems like Vancouver is going to be one of the first places around the world, or specifically North America, that includes America and Canada. Obviously, they're the big two filming locations in North America. So it seems like Vancouver may be one of the first places in North America or the world to be able to return to film. So therefore, obviously most of our DC TV shows film there, so The Flash, Batwoman, maybe Supergirl, we'll talk about Supergirl in a second, will be able to come back earlier than say if they were in Los Angeles or something like that. So The Flash and Batwoman, when they do return, they will be finishing their final two episodes of this season. Obviously, there's going to be a break once they get to episode 18, and then they have 19, 20 to film, and then you'll see the return. I'm not sure when they project to have those final two episodes out for those two shows, but it shouldn't be too far in the future if this news is perhaps true, or, you know, it does actually go this way like they're projecting. So they'll finish their final two episodes, and then after that, I don't think they're going to have much of a break. Maybe they have a week's break off or they just get started straight away on the new seasons because, you know, you never know, there might be new restrictions that are put in sometime in the summer. So they need to get started with these new seasons, to get footage, to get it done so that they don't fall into the same place as they're at right now when they can't film again. So according to Peiji, other places like LA are projected to be able to come back and film around late June slash early or mid July time. And so for Vancouver, it seems like it's going to be before then. It could potentially be around mid to late May, which would be very optimistic, I think. Or early June is probably a good sort of bet, I would say, as of right now. So, you know, considering that it has the potential to come back early, that means that the Flash and Batwoman can sort of crack out those final two episodes before they start their new seasons. Maybe Comic Con goes on, I don't know if Comic Con goes on, but they will be able to get those trailers out for the new seasons if everything turns out this way, because they will be able to start filming before the end of July, hopefully. And so, as in regards to Supergirl, I don't think they're going to be able to film when they return. Maybe they get a weekend or something to start, maybe episode one, but I don't see if there's a real point in them just doing like one episode and then just going on a break all the way to November because Melissa is going to be on maternity leave unless they can swing it some other way so that they can actually film. But it seems very, very unlikely that Supergirl is going to be able to film when The Flash, Batwoman and all the other shows return to film. So Supergirl may be delayed until January it's looking like for the new season. So going back to the article, when they say that they're paying close attention to how they're handling the crisis, this is obviously going to be taken, you know, and used in LA, I guess, because they want to be able to get back filming as soon as possible. So definitely producers in Hollywood are looking at how they're handling it in Vancouver, because it seems like they're doing a pretty decent job, because, you know, they are really confident, especially in this article, from what British Columbia's film industry spokespeople have been saying. And the quote that we are working with productions who are scheduled to film but are now on hold, helping them with logistics so they can get back working as soon as possible. Very much so applies to our shows because they are definitely working with them because they are a big contributor to the city and to the people who work in Vancouver on these film productions because DC, they film most of the stuff there in regards to the Arrowverse. So that is, you know, a big chunk of the industry up there. And, you know, they do have other shows up there like Warner Brothers does, like Riverdale and such, that are not DC TV, and they all contribute to their economy. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share the video around if you did enjoy it. So, anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.